Before we go further, a clear warning. This information is for education and awareness only. Our goal is to help you recognize threats and protect your digital life, not to encourage hacking. Never use these methods on accounts you don't own or without explicit written permission. Unauthorized access is a crime with severe legal consequences. We won't share download links or step-by-step -step instructions. Instead, we'll describe the tool's functionality from a high-level perspective. The toolkit we're examining is an archived Python project from GitHub. Python's simplicity makes it popular for both legitimate and malicious scripts. This toolkit claims to target Instagram and other platforms. The toolkit was designed as an all-in-one package for aspiring hackers, but that ease of use is deceptive. Running unknown code is risky. Many such tools are backdoored to steal your data. Studying this toolkit helps us understand the blueprint for similar threats still circulating online. By dissecting its structure, we learn about the types of attacks and vulnerabilities these tools target. Even if this tool is obsolete, the lessons remain relevant. Inside the toolkits folder, you'll find Python scripts, setup files, and word lists. The main script acts as a menu, letting users pick attack options. Setup files like requirements.txt or install.shash install needed libraries, but can also hide malware. Word lists are text files with millions of common passwords used for brute force attacks. These lists are the ammo for guessing passwords. Configuration files let users input targets without editing code. Session folders may store cookies or login data. All these parts create the illusion of a powerful hacking tool. In reality, it's a basic assembly of scripts and text files, often insecure and ineffective. The professional look is just a facade. The real danger is what's hidden beneath. Always be wary of what you run on your computer. This Python toolkit boasts a menu of features for attacking social media accounts. Its main feature is brute force password guessing, automating thousands of login attempts using word lists. It also offers an automated reporting tool, flooding Instagram with fake reports to try to get accounts suspended. There's a basic phishing framework helping users create fake Instagram login pages to steal credentials. The toolkit claims to support multiple platforms, but these features are usually broken or ineffective. Most of its arsenal is more about promises than real results. The reality, these tools rarely work as advertised. They're more hype than substance. Let's break down how these attacks work. The brute force attack tries every password in a list against a target account. Modern platforms like Instagram quickly block repeated failed attempts, making this method nearly useless. The mass reporting attack uses fake accounts to flood Instagram with reports, hoping to trigger a suspension. This abuses safety systems, not technical vulnerabilities. The phishing attack is about deception. The toolkit hosts a fake login page, and the attacker tricks the victim into entering their credentials. If the victim falls for it, their info is stolen and often redirected to the real site, so they may not notice. These methods are old and crude. Brute force is noisy and easily detected. Reporting attacks are unreliable and depend on platform policies. Phishing is the most likely to work, but only if the victim is fooled. The toolkit just automates these basic attacks for unskilled users. There are no advanced exploits or secret backdoors here. Social media companies are well aware of these tricks. The real risk is to the user, not the target. Don't be fooled by the marketing. Using these tools on accounts you don't own is a crime. Laws like the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act make unauthorized access illegal, even failed attempts. Penalties include heavy fines and prison time, especially if you access private data. Ethically, hacking someone's account is a serious violation of privacy and trust. Victims can suffer real emotional harm. Downloading these toolkits also puts you at risk. Many are designed to steal your own data. You could end up hacked while trying to hack others. Every online action leaves a trail. Law enforcement can trace attacks back to you. 
The myth of the anonymous hacker is just that, a myth. The risks far outweigh any imagined reward. Don't gamble with your freedom or someone else's privacy. So why do these tools exist at all? Some are made for legitimate security research. Penetration testers use similar tools, but always with permission. Ethical hackers help companies find and fix vulnerabilities, not exploit them. These tools can also be educational, helping students understand how attacks work and how to defend against them. The difference is context and consent. The toolkit we've discussed blurs the line, targeting unskilled users and lacking professional safeguards. It's not a true research tool, but a risky toy for would-be hackers. Studying such tools can be valuable, but using them irresponsibly is dangerous. Always choose the ethical path in cybersecurity. Learn to defend, not attack. We've explored the reality behind Instagram hacking toolkits. They're not magic keys, just outdated, risky scripts automating basic attacks. Success rates are low, but the risk of legal trouble or infecting your own computer is high. If you're curious about hacking, channel that interest ethically. Platforms like Hack the Box and Try Hack Me let you practice legally. Certifications like CompTIA Security Plus or OSCP can launch a career in cybersecurity. Remember, every account belongs to a real person. Attacking someone's privacy is never justified. The same skills used for attacking can be used to defend. Choose to build security, not break it. Keep learning, but always respect the law and others' privacy. Your digital future depends on making the right choices. Stay safe, stay ethical, and use your knowledge for good.